welcome to trinod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic atomic structure in amset apset neat and je mains point of view in this video i am going to discuss about quantum numbers in atomic structure topic which is the part of the intermediate first year chemistry so in this video i am going to discuss about uh, what are quantum numbers and uh, what are uh, various various types of quantum numbers and uh, how bits will be covered in any kind of objective exams uh, such as amset apset neat and je mains from this topic of quantum numbers what are quantum numbers quantum numbers are the identification numbers quantum numbers are the identification numbers which are used to locate the particular electron in an atom particular electron in an atom quantum numbers are the numbers which gives complete information of an electron you see these are the numbers which are used to locate the particular locate a particular electron in an atom or numbers which are used to give complete information of electron are called quantum numbers we know that there are four quantum numbers one is principal quantum number second one is azimuthal quantum number third one is magnetic quantum number and fourth one is spin quantum number before going to the disc, before going to the see how bits will be asked from this quantum number topic let me discuss first what are these all these quantum numbers what are their values what is their physical significance so in this the first quantum number is principal quantum number see the principal quantum number the principal quantum number the principal quantum number which is proposed by niels bohr and is denoted by letter n it has values 1 2 3 4 and so on and uh, it gives the size of the orbit and energy of the electron energy of the electron the principal quantum number which is proposed by niels bohr and is denoted by letter n it has values 1 2 3 4 and so on it gives the size of the orbit and energy of the electron size of the orbit and energy of the electron second quantum number is azimuthal quantum number which is also called as angular momentum quantum number which was proposed by sommerfeld it is denoted by a letter l and it has values a 0 1 2 3 4 and so on up to n minus 1 which gives the shape of the orbital and number of subshells present in the main shell number of subshells present in the main shell this is this azimuthal quantum number is also called as angular momentum quantum number which was proposed by sommerfeld and it is denoted by letter l and it has values 0 1 2 3 4 and so on up to n minus 1 which gives the shape of the orbital and number of subshells in the main shell number of subshells in the main shell this azimuthal quantum number value l value depends on the n value depends on the n value for a given n value for a given n value there are there are n l values there are n l values for example if n is equal to 1 there is a n l value 1 only l has only one value l has only one value which is equal to l is equal to 0 L is equal to zero. If n is equal to two, there are two L values. There are two L values. Those are L is equal to zero and L is equal to one. If n is equal to two three, there are there are three values for n L. There are three values for L. Those are L is equal to zero. L is equal to one. L is equal to two. Suppose if L is n is equal to ten, there are L values zero, one, two, three, and so on 
up to n minus 1. That is 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Which is equal to the 9. So, for a given n value, there are n l values, n l values, which are ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, up to n minus 1. Up to n minus 1. So, if L is equal to 0, it is corresponds to S orbital, which is spherical in nature. If L is equal to 1, it is P orbital. L is equal to 2, it is D orbital. L is equal to 3, it is F orbital. So, for an S orbital, L value is how much? 0. For a P orbital, L value is 1. For a D orbital, L value is 3, 2. For a F orbital, L value is 3. L value is 3. So, this a bismuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number gives the shape of the orbital. These are the shapes we are already aware of this one. S orbital has spherical shape. P orbital has dumbbell shape. D orbital has double dumbbell shape. F orbital has complex structure. So for an S orbital, L value is 0. For P orbital, L value is 1. For D orbital, L value is 2. For F orbital, L value is 3. L value is 3. Third quantum number is Magnetic quantum number, which was proposed by Landy, which was proposed by Landy and is denoted by letter M, small m, and it has values from minus L to plus L, minus L to plus L, including zero, minus L to plus L, including zero. For a given L value, there are 2L plus 1 M values. For a given L value, there are 2L plus 1 M values, and which gives the Orientation of the orbital in space. Orientation of the orbital in space. So magnetic quantum number, which was proposed by which was proposed by Landy. Which was proposed by Landy and it is denoted by M. So for a given L value, for a given L value, there are there are two L plus one M values. There are two L plus M two L plus one M values. That is, if L is equal to zero, there are how many values of M? Two into zero plus one. There is only one M value, which is corresponds to M is equal to zero. If L is equal to one, there are three M values. 2 into 1 plus 1, 3. Those are m is equal to minus 1, m is equal to 0, m is equal to plus 1. If l is equal to 2, there are 5 m values. Those are m is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. Similarly, if l is equal to 3, if l is equal to 3, there are 2 into 3 plus 1. There are 7 m values, minus 3 minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 3. So this magnetic quantum number, magnetic quantum number M has 2L plus 1 M values. For a given L value, there are 2L plus 1 M values. 2L plus 1 M values. So if L is equal to 0, there is only one M value, M is equal to 0. If L is equal to 1, there are 3 M values, minus 1, 0, plus 1. If L is equal to 2, there are 5 M values, minus 2, 2, plus 2, including 0. And if L is equal to 3, there are 7 M values, minus 3, 2, plus 3, including 0. And the last quantum number is, last quantum number is spin quantum number, which was proposed by Ullenbeck and Goldsmith, which is denoted by letter small s. It has values plus half and minus half and which gives the spin of the electron, spin of the electron. So among these four quantum numbers, the first three quantum numbers are the solutions of the Schrodinger's wave equation. Solutions of the Schrodinger's wave equation. Let me discuss how bits will be asked from this quantum numbers topic. So one of the bit, bit may be asked like this. What are the correct set of four quantum numbers for the valence electron of rubidium? For the valence electron of rubidium. Here, given that n, l, m and s values are given as 5, 0, 0 plus of 
and 5, 1, 0, and plus of 5, 1, 1, and plus of then 6, 0, 0, plus. So for the valence electron of rubidium, for the valence electron of rubidium, we know that atomic number of rubidium is 37 and it has outer shell electronic configuration of 5s1. This outer shell electronic configuration is 5s1. Its electronic configuration is krypton 5s1. Krypton 5s1. In this valence electron is the this electron. Right here in this 5s1, this is corresponds to the, the, the principal quantum number. That's why here n is equal to 5. While discussing quantum numbers, I have already told for an s orbital, what are the L values? 0. For s orbital, L value is 0. And uh, if L is equal to 0, there is only one m value that is m is equal to 0. If this m is equal to 0, and uh, s may be either plus off or minus off. S may be either plus off or minus off. That's why the correct option is 5, 0, 0, and plus off. Option A is the correct answer. Option A is the correct answer. Here, because in, in any orbital, if you take 2p orbital, here this 2 is corresponds to the uh, principal quantum number and p tells us the ismuthal quantum number value. If it is a p orbital, L value is 1. If it is suppose d orbital, L value is 2. And if it is a f orbital, L value is 3. You see, by seeing the orbital itself, we can say the principal quantum number and ismuthal quantum number. Ismuthal quantum number. Let me discuss one more bit. Which of the following set of quantum numbers represent an impossible arrangement? An impossible arrangement. So they have given some uh, four options. From this, which of the following one is not a possible arrangement? You see, what are the given? Here, n value, l value, m value, and s value. Here, 3, 2, 2, minus 2, and plus of. Option B is 3, 2, minus 3, and plus of. Option C is 4, 0, 0, minus of. And option D is 5, 3, 0, and minus of. Now, let me discuss how to see, how to check whether, uh, whether a given uh, set of quantum numbers is, is a possible arrangement or impossible arrangement. Here, for n is equal to 3, we know that if n is equal to 3, there are, if n is equal to 3, we know that there are, how many L values are there? 3 L values, those are 0, 1, 2. So that's why n is equal to 3, L is equal to 2 is in a possible arrangement. Right? Here n is equal to 3, L is equal to 2 is also a possible arrangement. If L is equal to 2, what are the M values? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. So that's why minus 2 is also possible arrangement. So S may be either plus off or minus off. That's why A is a possible arrangement. Let me see B option. If N is equal to 3, I have already discussed. L is equal to 2 is a possible arrangement. If L is equal to 2, this minus 3 is not a possible arrangement because if L is equal to 2, M has only 5 values, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. That's why this is an impossible arrangement. Let me check another three, another two options also. If N is equal to 4, what are the L values? L has a 4 values, 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the, then N is equal to 4, L is equal to 0 is possible. If L is equal to 0, M is equal to 0 is also possible. Then S is minus of is possible. Right here, this is also a correct set of quantum numbers. Now, let me discuss the last option. N is equal to 5. L has four, 5 values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. If N is equal to 5, L is equal to 3 is a possible. L is equal to 3, then M has a 0 value. Minus 3 to plus 3, including 0. That's why option A, C, D are possible arrangements. And option D is an impossible arrangement. So, option B is the right answer for the given question. Now, let me discuss one more, one more question. Which combination of quantum numbers, N, L, M, for the electron in an atom 
does not provide a permissible solution of the wave equation, wave function. Wave function. Here, first option is given that n is equal to 3. L is, a L is equal to 2 is possible. If L is equal to 2, M is equal to plus 1 is possible. That's why, which is a permissible solution. Similarly, if N is equal to 3, L is equal to 1 is also possible. If L is equal to 1, M is equal to plus 1 is also possible. That's, this is also correct one. And here, L is equal, N is equal to 3, M is equal to, L is equal to 3 is not possible because the L is equal to, yeah, if N is equal to 3, there are three L values, 0, 1, 2. But here in option C, it is given that L is equal to 3, it is not a problem, is not possible. That's why this is the option C is the uh, correct answer. Let me discuss one more bit. What are the total values of magnetic quantum number of electron when the value of N is equal to 2? See, here, when N value is 2, what are the total values of magnetic quantum number? Magnetic quantum number of an electron when the values of n is equal to 2. If n is equal to 2, what are the L values? 0, 1. If L is equal to 0, what are the possible values? 0. If L is equal to 1, what are the possible values of m? 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1. So what are the four values? Total, there are four M values if N is equal to 2. Similarly, if N is equal to 4, what are the possible M values? L, L is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. If L is equal to 0, M value has only, only one M value. If L is equal to 1, there are three M values. If L is equal to 2, M values are 5. If L is equal to 3, already 7. So total is 16. Total is 16. You see, we know that... For a given L value, there are 2L plus 1 M values. 2L plus 1 M values. If N is equal to 4, there are 4 L values. You see, the question is asked, if N is equal to 4, what are the possible M values? Total number of possible M values. If L is equal to 0, there is only one M value you will get. If L is equal to 1, 3. L is equal to 2, 5. L is equal to 3, 7. The total M values are uh, 16 M values. So, uh, in this way, Questions will be covered from this quantum numbers topic. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes. Please subscribe the channel or like it and share the video. Thank you.